Hello YouTube, it has been quite some time. My name is Tina and welcome to Tina's Knitting Needle. I am a crocheter, a knitter, and a crafter. And it's been some time since I posted any videos and showed anything. If you are a returning viewer, it's going to be a little hard to talk because it's been a while. If you are a returning viewer, hi, welcome back. And if you are new, welcome. <sighs> so, um... I think it, we're going on three months. I haven't recorded. Um, I really haven't made much progress. Progress. Oh, Tina. And we don't do the editing here. I don't have time for that. <laughs> um, I haven't made much progress um, in some of my things that I've shown before, which was sewing uh, loose ends, weaving in ends, like my bucket hats. Um, those I had shown the last video excuse my kids they go back to school tomorrow so they're trying to get every minute <laughs> trying to get every minute in that they can with their VR so let me just tell them to hush down one second okay I told the kids to calm down anywho um, so I haven't really weaved in any of those ends but those projects are still you know kind of um there in a bag <laughs> Um, I've had a lot going on the last couple of months um, between going back to work, working full time as a manager at the um, Schmampton Inn, and um, it's been okay. It's been, yay. Um, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I don't really like to talk about work here. Um, most of the times I probably don't have anything nice to say. Any hoots. Um, a lot of health changes for me that I had gone through. I'm doing a lot better. Um, so yeah, um, earlier this year, we know that, um, my last videos, I had, um, surgery on my mouth and my teeth and stuff. So talking for me has been good days, bad days with having, you know, the nerve damage in my face. So that's another reason why I haven't really been, um, videoing a lot too, because, Again, I have my good days, I have my bad days, I stumble my words, so it's it's still a struggle for me. A um, couple of changes with me personally. Um, yeah, I just I kind of took a break from crafting, I think, too. I think, um, I don't think I know. With all the healing processes that I had to go through with different things going on with me, I kind of just like couch potatoed sat down, watched my Marvel movies, um, maybe dabbled in some things here and there, but I just, I really wasn't feeling up to crafting and stuff. I just kind of wanted to reset my brain, just kind of get as much rest. Also, it was the summertime. Um, I didn't record much because, again, as you can hear the kids um, playing their, their video games nonstop and, and playing outside and, you know, trying to burn them out as much as possible, let them enjoy their summer. Um, I did make a couple of things here and there. I did pick up some yarn about a week or two ago. To be honest, I don't feel like going to my room and going and get it and show it. Um, I picked up a couple of, um, Karen One Pound With Loves in the olive color. Color. <laughs> I'm wanting to make a turtleneck sweater that's knitted. I had shown a orange one earlier, a peachy orange earlier this year I had shown one. Um, I had lost weight, I put the weight back on, so my weight has been fluctuating the last couple of months, so I kind of just put my sweaters on the back burner. If I'm moving my hair a lot, sorry, it's it, it's my thing, <laughs> my videos, it's my thing. Um, I kind of put sweaters on the back burner for a little while, I didn't want to sit here and start knitting one and then put 10 pounds back on and now it's too tight and then I pulled it apart I started making it smaller because I lost weight it's a whole thing so I just put the sweaters on the back burner but I do have this beautiful Karen one pound um, it's an olive color if anybody's seen it gorgeous it feels soft and I, I'm just I can't wait to jump in and knit that one so that's a that's um an upcoming project soon that I'm gonna start working on and maybe jump back on the peach one so what I'm going to show today is just a couple little monsters that I made um, and two works in progress and a blanket that I finished. My monsters, one is finished, one is not. I kind of, 
After I put them together, I gave up on doing the horns, the little toe beans, and his little devil tail. So, yeah. And, um, I think a beanie that I was, a beanie that I have that I've been working on, um, since the beginning of this year. Uh, those are just what, again, I'm couch potatoing it. So those, I, that I have been working on, but I got quite a few things. So I'm going to jump into... I guess my work in progress. So um, I got this yarn last year for Mother's Day. Um, it's Big Twists. It's a sparkly yarn. You probably can't see it so much. It sparkles. But anyways, I got a new bedroom set um, about two months ago. And we went with um, a pale and black theme um, trimmed and stuff. And my, my quilt set, I went with uh, all white with black flower trimming. So I liked, I've always wanted to have like a nice pretty throw on my bed, you know, just to have it to look pretty. So I started a pinwheel that's just a solid, um, solid pinwheel and it's sparkly. Again, you probably can't see that it's sparkly cause it is just a little bit shiny. So I got this pretty pinwheel that's been going. Um, the yarn, it splits a lot. So I kind of put this one on the back burner because it was starting to, you know, agitate me with the splitting. So the pattern is the um, pinwheel, crochet pinwheel by the crochet crowd. And um, I've done so many of these. I mean, you go through my TikTok You'll see the majority of them. My Facebook, I have every single one that I've made. They're all posted there. So I don't need to I don't need to read a pattern. As you can see, I already know every time I get up to my second, I know um, when there's two on the next two. So I know as soon as I get up to here, put two, continue on. As soon as I come across another two two double crochets and one stitch as soon as I come up to that step. Double crochet and one stitch, put my two. So I don't need stitch markers. Um, I don't need to keep track of it. I don't know where this hair clip came from. Probably came from my hair. <laughs> so that's one of my works in progress. Now the other one that I have, I'm gonna show the book first and then you'll understand why. So I also got this, um, Crochet Amigurumi Monsters. My thing is, I used to do Amigurumi years ago. I used to do dolls and stuff for the kids when they were they were just born and, and plushies and things like that. And my arthritis had gotten so bad um, just trying to pump out these dolls for the kids and, and, and plushies, whatever. So I had kind of put amigurumi on the back burner and I stuck with the blankets. Blankets is my thing. Um, I burned through my stash quicker so I can buy more yarn once I burned through it. So, but I wanted to kind of get back into the groove of um, doing different things and reading patterns. So I picked this up, $21.99. Now I used my coupon, I think I had a $5 coupon on or was like half off regular price and the lady tells me she's like oh yeah you did get that girl i looked at the receipt you charged me 21.99 my my coupon didn't work or it didn't apply to she said well all the books are on half sale there's no original price on this so you're telling me that this book was 40 dollars here's the thing uh with having 15 patterns I can see it, then I can understand, yeah, it being $40, but that doesn't say that back here. It does not say $40. So if it would have said 40 and I would have seen my receipt was 21, okay, understandable, but whatever. I wanted it. I wanted to try something new and get back into, like I said, the groove of making different things opposed to um, just blankets. Reason why I keep playing with my hairs, I did a relax kit like three weeks ago. And I lost a chunk of my hair right there. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why. Again, we don't edit. And that's not my cup of tea. So, I started working on these. 
And um, I got quite a few more I want to do. They're a little bit more intricate, so I know those will probably, when I have time, time to really sit down and read a pattern. Because again, sometimes I get home from work, like tonight my kids go back to school tomorrow. And I was gunning to get out of work by three o'clock. Um, some shit went down. I had to, you know, jump in and help my team out and kind of make sure that when I left, everything was the way it's supposed to be. By the time I got out of work, it was five o'clock and I had to get home. Thankfully, my husband was home earlier, so he made dinner for the kids. I had to get them ready. They're playing their video games. They get shut down in about another 30 more minutes. So coming home, I got my, <laughs> my heating pad on my back and I figured, hey, why not? Why not just jump on, throw a video out there? It's been quite some time. And um, that way I can just rest, relax, and work on a blanket and maybe in another week or two finally have a video of some of these finished blankets and um, hopefully have one or two monsters. So that's the book. Um, I got it at Joann's. So yeah, so the first monster I made, forgot his name. His name is Zach the Candy Monster. Now, I didn't go with the colors that they had on the book. I used what I had. And he's super cute. I know I'm supposed to use bigger eyes, but I have a, a, a butt ton of these eyes here. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have a whole box of different eyes. And I've had these for years. I mean, I bought them, again, my daughter's going to be 10 this year, so I bought these nine years ago. I barely use eyes after like I said I, I gave up after like doll number 15 squishy for the 15 for the kids I was like yeah I'm done so this has been sitting in my closet for so long um, but I had bigger eyes in here but I didn't want to give him just plain black eyes now granted I have those two giant googly ones I've been saving that for almost 10 years for the perfect amigurumi or squishy, plushy, whatever they're called. I'm saving it for the right doll that I make to slap those babies on. So anyways, his eyes are tiny and his mouth is open so you could put some candy in there because he's Zach the candy monster. <laughs> and his Toby, look at his Toby. I'm sorry, I have cats. I love toe beans. <laughs> so toe beans, his little teeth. And he's all stuffed. I got a big five pound. I did pick up a big five pound box of just um, stuffing. So, and it was, this little, it was a little box like this. And then as soon as you pull it out, whoosh, it opens up. And it's just like, yeah. So I got a big old bag here that'll get me through at least five or six monsters. Well, I already got two. So I'm going to say maybe another five or six monsters I can get out of it. So seven altogether. But... This and yeah, you can see um, it runs here because you you just keep going in the pattern. Um, I'm not going to give away too much of the pattern, but um, again, if you want to look for this book, it's in Joanne's and Crochet Amigurumi Monsters, and there's 15 in there. And these are some of the other monsters. Um, her name is I think Ellie or Lily. But we know her name. We all know her name. We know who that is. <laughs> but it's the cutest thing. She's next on my list. I want to make her next. So, Zach is done. Now, this one is, his name is Mr. Blue. And these are all the names from the book. His name is Mr. Blue. I used, um, oh, that yarn there for Zach. This was all Karen One Pound. The peach color. And I bought um, the teal ocean green or whatever. They were on clearance for four forty nine. I want to say. So I picked up the last three balls of the green, and I think the last two of the peach. Mr. Blue here. <laughs> He's actually made from uh, that premier dollar yarn from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to show you what he's supposed to look like. I 
without giving the pattern away. Okay, Mr. Blue, you can hold up here. So that's what he's supposed to look like. I am nowhere near what he looks like. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't want to go for the um the crocheted, you know, just a couple lines in his eyes. I didn't want to go for that. So um yeah, you saw the picture. I, I don't want to give too much away, so. Ah. Again, we'll use a monster. So, that's what he's supposed to look like. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> but, yeah, he's my monster. <clears throat> um... His lip was supposed to be a further out, so you can see the definition more. I, again, I haven't done this in years, and um, I can read patterns. I'm just not the best with them. So he's supposed to have his little uh, spike fingers here. As you can see, he's supposed to have spiked toes here. He's supposed to have two horns. And he's supposed to have a little devil tail. Um, I got... Zach done in two days, and then another two days later, Mr. Blue was done. Again, I kind of got back. Well, I made these when I um, was on medical leave from work. I had surgery um, about a week ago. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, with that being said, I did use those four days, besides being a couch potato, taking care of my health, um, whip up these two babies. So... By the time I was done with him, it was time to go back to work last week, Monday, um, and the rest of the week trying to, um, you know, deal with work. I got home and was like, mm, I don't want to deal with yarn. I don't want to deal with crochet. My brain just can't handle. So right now he's sitting with uh, Zach on the dresser and that's probably how it's going to sit. Maybe for another week or two until I'm like, I, I have to finish him. I have to complete him. So those two are finished. This one, still a partial whip. Now, a blanket that I did finish, um, giving off Beetlejuice themed um, colors. It's another pinwheel. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I didn't go with the um, original pinwheel theme. I went with the, um, the dartboard version. Um, my ends are not weaved in. Again, I'm I'm very bad at doing stuff like that. It gets to the point where I'm just like, you know, nobody's using it right now. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> I'm being a nerd right now. So this one is my, um. Beetlejuice, I guess, themed dartboard or your regular dartboard or something. But it's, again, the, the pinwheel by the crochet craft. And this is all Karen yarn. Uh, Karen one pound of the gray mix or dark gray mix. And I believe this one is um, just cream color. And there she goes. Now, I did make one earlier this year for my son. Um, but that one was black and white. This is a dark mixed gray. And this is a cream pound. And I went with the original shells that it's supposed to um, finish off. I prefer the crab stitch. I love the crab stitch. I love the finishing of a crab stitch. But, um, again, I wanted to keep this one as close as possible to the actual pattern and I started running out of yarn so <laughs> but she's super big super pretty she is finished I just don't have any of my ends weaved in so and I could have went with the um not with the dartboard never mind let me let me stop there um with the dartboard I start off with your wheel that way if you're doing the um peppermint you know original effect you can do the one of each color so it kind of spreads out pretty um which my next blanket you'll see i did not do i my brain can only take so much <laughs> i'm super exhausted 
I think I did today seven, no, eight, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five. I pulled a nine hour shift today. Um, I don't really take a lunch break. God forbid I take a break. <laughs> Any hoot. And so my last work in progress, um, yeah, because I haven't touched, I haven't even touched my Christmas one. My Christmas one is still sitting there. I think I showed that one back in, I want to say November, maybe December beginning. Um, it starts to get intricate in the white parts. And I said I would show it next um, video. She's sitting over there. On, my back feels great on my heating pad. I don't feel like getting up. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll show up the next one. But this one is my favorite. And um, I really want to find, I think I want to do a blue and a red pinwheel next. And um, I really want that one. I want to call that one Yondu. So I'm a Marvel buff. I've said it in all my videos. You guys have seen in all my videos, um, all my Guardians of the Galaxy behind me. I made a um, Guardians of the Galaxy three themed colors um cardigan um and she's sitting in my closet right now and the more and more i was working on this one i can't i was like oh man i would love to call it yandu but there's no red in it though some of the blues from him so i'm i think maybe next week i want to next week next month i want to pick up red and um a really nice blue not too dark not too teal just a really pretty blue and make a, a Yondu. Not with his face, none of that. Just name it Yondu. But however, I did go and see Deadpool 3, um, well, Deadpool and Wolverine, um, a couple days ago after work and amazing, amazing. So with that being said, I want to try to um, make Deadpool just his head his mask whatever in a circle form um i couldn't sleep last night i didn't look for patterns i didn't use the um the free thing where you put the pattern and it makes all little squares for you and does it i want to do this by by sketch myself like get my own graph paper and kind of just sketch it in and um try to do the the number formulation myself so i'm looking forward to that but again I, with not having time on my hands recently, it's kind of hard. With the kids back to school tomorrow and my days off are Fridays and Saturdays, um, if I'm not putts in the streets and, and getting things done, food shopping, housework done, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, I think Fridays are going to be my record days again. If not every week, every other week, maybe twice a month. And um, Saturdays, I can just put everything together to do on Saturday since the kids are home, husband's home. The cats are home, <laughs> so everybody's home. Um, I think Fridays is going to be my quiet day to get some crochet done and maybe get um, a video up or even jump on TikTok Live again because I miss doing TikTok too and everybody kind of coming in, hey, and what are you working on today? Or, you know, bumping some music and kind of just blasting through some knitting as well, um, which I'll probably show that too because I think the last time I showed everybody, I was just getting into the hat itself after like the two inch of um, ribbing. She's almost done at the 21 inches to where I'm starting to crown her off and, you know, close it. But anyways, let's get back to this blanket. I talk a lot of shit. I just keep going at the mouth. <laughs> um, so I am using a jumbo um, ombre. So those, and I don't have another ball. It's in the room. Again, not getting up too tired. And the other color I'm using is <laughs> I'm a goofball. It's canal, but um, I'm pretty sure you know where I'm going with that as a joke. It's canal. That's the color. <laughs> so if y'all can't see my bed, hey girl, you better get away from mommy's yarn. I don't think so. Not today. My cats are like a pig in sh when I have my yarn out. So I started this pinwheel. I started this one actually a couple days ago. So look how gorgeous the colors are coming out beautifully. So what I was saying was if I really had wanted to keep it 
to spiral out from the beginning, it would have been one, 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 then two, two, two. I just go in with the six. I go in, um, I go in with the, the 12, excuse me, 12. I really should stop doing that. <laughs> I go in with the 12 and then two, 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 and then again, spiraling out. So um, she's my newest one, very soft and um, very thick blanket too. I, I love using Karen one pound. Um, years ago, it was Red Heart, and then I was using the Mainstays, but because prices are going up with everything now today, I'm trying, re I'm trying really hard to catch the Karens when they're on sale, though, oh, eight ninety nine is a sale, you know, it's good, I mean, but to catch the ocean teal kind of and the peach for four forty nine each and swiping less i got no i got four i got two and two i got basically four for the price of like one and a half and i was oh my god i got a deal and probably i don't know when's the next time i'm gonna see that so but she's my newest one that i'm working on i have to look through the blanket to make sure y'all can see it gorgeous I might even make this my um, thumbnail, so we're just going to hold that. Yay. Newest project. Of course, this is mine. Everybody wants my blankets, but don't want to either buy and pay. <laughs> or everybody in the house. Ooh, is that for me? No. And last but not least. Oh, I've got to fix my heating pad. Um, so like I said, she... This is Sock Obsession, <clears throat> Sock Yarn. I got this again also. I believe I got this yarn last year for my 39th or probably my 38th. No, I got this yarn about two or three years ago when I was living a couple cul-de-sacs over um, and I had my yarn wall right behind me in my living room um beautiful colors my cozy is um i got it from etsy knitting knots and that's my cozy you now she's upside down it says uh knitting takes balls born to knit i got quite a few of these so and i only use them for my sock yarn so that's the color. And I am working on the sock head hat by Kelly McClure. Um, this is my knitting part. So I am using, yeah, it's gotten that bad in my vision. <laughs> uh, chow goo, red lace. I love my chow goos. Um, 2.75. So I think the last time I showed her, I was right about here. And my ribbing now as you can see she was doing pooling but it was so bad to the point where it was um like this block here is blue this block here is yellow so all these stragglers is as I started approaching the yellow I pull the rest of the yellow so that way pink can run through it and kind of go back and forth So it started pulling and I would pull the yarn so I wouldn't get another hole. It, yellow would have kept running here and it just would have started doing this, um, what one of my other hats did. Yellow coming across, blue coming across. I didn't want that. So um, she's about maybe two, three more inches before I can start crowning it off. And this beanie is meant to be a socket, slouch hat, or even if you put the ribbing up, just a regular beanie. Um, this one is my couch potato hat along with my infinity that I've been working on that one for almost two years that one sits at work but um, I don't really knit at work because God forbid I take a break <laughs> that's gonna be the running joke from here on out while I'm at work Anywho, so she's my next project that should be done maybe in a couple more weeks at least before it starts getting cold here in Georgia 
<clears throat> excuse me, um, it don't start getting cold to about maybe the second or third week of October. And that's that. Um, yeah, so if you see anything different, there have been modifications as well. I went ahead and we pierced that. I had it done many, many years ago. It closed up, didn't know what to do. So I kind of got that repierced. Um, my headaches came back to the, or migraines came back on the right side of my head. So I went ahead and redid my dive on this side. And um, it's been helping my migraines a whole lot. So if any of y'all experience it, again, they say it's a placebo effect, but for me, it's helped a lot. I've had that one in there for now about three years in there. And I was doing butterfly themes, but um, I'm noticing I'm kind of snagging a lot in my face. So, <laughs> anywho, um, this is what I've been working on. Like I said, the last maybe two, three weeks, um, these past three months, it really, I really haven't been working on anything. I kind of just needed to shut my brain down, focus on work. The kids were home for vacation, for summer vacation. By the time I got home, it was like hang out with the kids or while they're sleeping, take a nap <laughs> and um, just kind of rejuvenate for the next day to um, jump in. And as I said, I, I am a, a housekeeping manager. Um, so it, it does take a lot out of you, you know, when you're working in a hundred room hotel and things like that. So all I know is when I come home, tend to the family and then try to get to bed. But having my surgery, I was able to finish some projects, get through some projects and start some. So I'm hoping to come back. I know I said I was off this Friday, but <clears throat> I work the next three or four days. I'm definitely not touching anything. So I might just start working on most of these projects on Friday and have an episode or video out the following Friday. Um, I know I'm going to try to be I'm going to try to be consistent again, but it, again, it's kind of hard when um, for me, you know, with all my healing processes and stuff like that, and you know, um, putting my health first and my kids first and stuff like that. So hopefully from here. I will try to be persistent. And again, if I don't um, put up videos, I usually put, you know, your little shorts or whatever they're called on here. And then on TikTok, I'll post up, hey, this is what I'm working on. Um, hopefully soon I'm coming out with a video. Other than that, I have all my social media handles down below. Instagram, I kind of still don't know how to use, but Instagram is Tina underscore Riley, no, Tina's underscore knitting underscore needle. Um, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube is Tina, Tina's Knitting Needle. Um, is that everything? Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and um, share if you want to share. And I appreciate everybody stopping by and kind of checking out my video and still hanging on in there even though I don't upload as persistently as I would like to. So again, thank you everybody for stopping by and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.